Today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon dog. Hey, it's John Mark, and let's begin our new lesson on how to draw this cartoon dog. Well, I'm going to be sketching out some of the basic body shape, but just a little side note, what I did to create this little dog is I made several uh, shapes very similar to all the body parts. The, as you can see, his basic body has this one little shape, his head and his uh, feet, and also like his tail and his little arm is a little bit different there, but they all have similar style shape. I did this intentionally to show you how you can create one shape and build a whole character from it as well. All right, so I'm sketching out the little dog's eyes right now. And as you can see, I'm going very light as I always shared in my other videos. And then I'll come back with a little heavier line and follow up with uh, the final pencil. And either I ink or uh, just use that final pencil and color it in from there. All right, so here's the ear. As you can see, very similar shape as the rest of his uh, body uh, parts. And that's just something very, very fun to be able to do. So if you create a shape, you might want to create your own shape and create your own little character out of that. Working on his little toes. There are going to be like three basic ones on there. Following on the other side. As you can see, the, uh, the, the toes on the far left are in front of the right. Now that's a neat thing to make sure you can really do as if you're a young uh, artist budding and you want to learn some new tricks, having that one object, or in this case, one foot in front of the other one, helps show the perspective of the animal. So it's not flat, they're not on the same plane. And here's a simple hand, flat as well. Almost similar to that shape again. So let's work on his little belly. All right, and uh, there we go. Let's start to color in his eyes, shade them in. And get a little darker. And I do traditionally, as I draw on the computer, I'm using my stylus, which looks like a pencil, but traditionally I would use a lead pen. I've used pencils before in sharpeners, but I like the mechanical pencils just due to they're always uh, at a certain weight and sharp. They don't lose that uh, sharpness. And I go between like a five, seven, and nine, depending on the weight of the actual lead that I chose as well. HB is a standard, but sometimes a 2B I like. All right, so working on his nose. And I'm just gonna do some little speed shading line right there. Separate that highlighted part on his nose. There we go, work on his mouth. And then his little ear there, a little darker. And now you can see that I'm beginning to build this character using a more heavier stroke when I'm sketching. Here are some quick speed lines again, just to add some shadowing and some depth to the actual art. Okay, there we go. His little back arm is uh, behind his back. All right, let's work on finishing up on the toe right there. Get a little darker and feel very creative if you're doing this character you can add spots on there or stripes on your dog however you want to even change the pattern of the ear you can make it like a little bumpy so it looks like really furry and the same thing with the tail so even though you see what I created here the very first step with the layout of all the shapes you can then thereafter change some of those elements afterwards Use your creativity and your imagination. All right, here's his hand. His thumb is flat. I did that intentionally to make it very simple. Okay. There we go, working on his arm. His belly there, getting a little bit darker. Yeah, this little guy, he's coming out pretty good right now. Let's just highlight here and there a little darker. Right, let's get some um, hair on the top of his head there. There we go. All right, so let's sign and date it. And as always, uh, thanks for watching this video, and uh, have a great day.